There's a 91, 92. Let me scoop this up and see what it is. I've never dug one of these. about six o'clock in the morning I got with me stinking Lincoln over here Spencer and we are up at a new lake about two and a half hours three hours I guess for me and uh, kind of where he lives and so we got some uh, new permissions we're going to hit some old swim areas and some new swim areas and hopefully we're gonna get on some stuff but here lately it doesn't seem like anybody's really been on the lakes at all and so it hasn't been a lot of rings out there and uh, but uh, it looks like the ocean. The wind's blowing so hard and white capping lakes, we may not be able to get out too far ourselves. So what are we gonna get, Spencer? What are you gonna get, gold ring? We're gonna get silver and gold. <laughs> <laughs> silver and gold, I'll be happy with that. So let's get out there and see what we can get. Well, I've been out here about 30 minutes, maybe 25 minutes. Got my first ring. It popped up in my scoop. It looked gold. It's ringing up a 56, but I don't think it's going to be gold. I think it's going to be, it could be titanium. It's not stainless steel and it's ringing too low to be tungsten. Didn't sound like a tungsten ring. I'll have to look in here a little bit closer and see what it might be. It's a, it, it looks kind of good. I don't know. I can't read anything on it. It's too, too dark right now. I know it looks light on the screen, but it's darker here in person. So we'll look at it and uh, tell you a little bit later on what this might be. Uh, it feels real light like a titanium, but uh, I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. It's a big, nice ring. Hey, that's a good sign. 30 minutes and got the first ring here. Let's keep on going. Well, it's been about 20 minutes since that last uh, ring, like titanium. This time I was getting a 45, and uh, it'll be gonna be a small stainless steel ring. Hey, that's two rings here within the first uh, 45 minutes or so. So surely there's gotta be some silver and some gold out here somewhere. And so let's keep looking. Let's see if we can't find a little bit better than stainless. All right, let's keep going. There's a 91, 92. Let's jump into an 86, 87. So I don't know, it could be a quarter. It could be uh, could be a silver ring. So let me scoop this up and see what it is. Hey, check this out. I've never dug one of these. I've dug a horseshoe, but I've never dug a saddle. This was ringing up a 92, 93. At first it was ringing up like an 81. And, uh, and once I got it clear of all the muck, it ringing up a 92, 93. Check that out, that is a huge silver saddle ring. That is tarnished really bad. Uh, hopefully I can get that cleaned up really nice. It should look really good. But hey, look at that big old saddle. That's fitting for the area that I'm in because the area that I'm in is all about, uh-oh, I just chopped it back in the water. Anyway, I'm gonna dig that up and keep on going. So let's keep looking. All right, I'm out here at shoulder deep water and I was getting a 76, 77, 78 and I thought it was going to be a zinc penny. Ends up going to be uh, one of those uh, Catholic necklaces of Madonna and baby Jesus and it's going to be completely silver. Even the chain is silver. It's all tarnished and it's kind of a flat chain. It's kind of a neat little thing. So getting close to my cross, but I uh, haven't got my cross yet. But yeah, it's going to be completely silver. So that's a nice find. So keep out looking, go, go work deep and then work myself back into the shallow. So that's three rings and a necklace so far. All right, let's keep rolling. Spencer came out to me and he just showed me his ring. He's got him a James Avery silver ring. So he's on the board. He found that same time I found that silver chain. So uh, that's good. So that's four rings out of here and a necklace and a lot of chains. So 
uh, there's going to be more out here to get. We just got to go find it. So congratulations, man. Thank you. Double. Yeah. There we Double go. Double the treasure. Double silver, man. Yeah. We are the silver kings. Now let's go get some more. Now this is the first for me. I've never dug a complete harmonica. And what's wiping up clean too. Check that out. I can probably scratch that. And uh, get the rest of that crud off of it. That might clean up to be a real nice uh, harmonica. What does it say here? Uh, I can't read that. I have to look around the camera. Pro Harp. Honer. Honer Pro Harp. Check that out. I wonder, if it, I wonder if it even works. It still works. Oh my goodness. At least, at least one, one key does. The low end. All right. I've never found a harmonica in the water. What's somebody doing that out here in the swimming area? I don't know. You never know what you find in the lake. All right, let's keep on rolling. I wonder what that's doing on the tree. It says Chris Anon 87 equals or 8720. I wonder if that's uh, a memorial of someone who's drowned out here. And they put that up. I bet that's it. I bet that's what that is. That's sad. All right, I dropped Spencer off. He uh, had to go to the courthouse to get his marriage license. So congratulations to Spencer and his fiance. Fiance, they're going to be. Tying the knot, they say, and getting married here pretty soon. And uh, so I dropped him off and headed on down to another lake. I'm gonna hit two or three lakes on my way home. And I'm back at the lake where I came a couple of weeks ago with Bayou Digs. So I was gonna come back here and try to hit this again for an hour. And if I don't find anything, I'm gonna head on to the next one. But if I start finding stuff, I'll, uh, I'll uh, stick around here for just a little bit. So let's get in, let's see what we find. All right, I've been out here for just a little bit and uh, got my first uh, ring. It's going to be a, a 47. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a stainless steel, not white gold, but I'm hoping it's going to be white gold. But uh, hey, there's something out here that we didn't get a couple weeks ago. And uh, so I'm going to spend about an hour. So let's keep looking around, see if we can get something else. All right, I moved on from the lake where we, me and uh, Spencer detected. I actually went to another lake, didn't find anything there. Now came to this lake. This is my third lake for the day. Got a 50, real jumpy 50 signal and pulled it up and it's gonna be a silver heart little bracelet. It's marked 925 right there on the clasp. But I'll take that. That's a good little find. It's not broken either. It, it uh, clasped back together. Must be like a little ankle bracelet or something. It's pretty small, but it's silver. I'll take silver. All right, there may be some more stuff in here. I dug some pull tabs and bottle caps and some money and this. So hopefully that's a good sign. There's going to be a few more things in here. So let's keep looking. Things are pretty rare right now. They're just, they're, they're slim. Not everybody's out at the lake and uh, it's just too hot. It's a hundred degrees right now. People just not coming out in the water and losing things. All right, let's see what else we can get. We got about maybe two hours of daylight left. That's gonna do me in for the day. I've been up since 2.45. It is now 7.45, 7.30. I'm tired. All I got here was some coins and that uh, silver bracelet. So I'm trying to go back out on Friday. So I'll see you guys out in the water on Friday. All right, back out at the lake again today. It is Friday. I'm at a lake where there's three swim areas, and someone will hit these three. See what we come up with, so let's jump in the water. You see those marks in the sand? 
but still still sound it's been detected so I didn't find anything in the water so I'm gonna move on to the next location because that tells me someone's been here and I'm just not gonna waste a lot of time and energy to try to find something that has been hunted probably this morning so I'm gonna move on down to the next one see if we can find something there I'll see you there well I just got back in from the lake Today was a wasted day. I tell you what, I drove an hour and a half and got to my lake and they didn't have this on their website and I pulled up to the front gate and they said it was closed till Sunday. So an hour and a half there, an hour and a half back. So I went off to another lake and went to four different, two lakes, four different swim areas and bust, 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 bust. Nothing, not a single thing. And so out of all the lakes in this video, only one, two three lakes produced out of seven lakes out of seven swim areas only three lakes three swim areas produced anything and gosh that's just the way it is the lakes are it's hot here in texas no one's swimming the lake is getting very very low and plus right now this is the last weekend uh that uh, next week school starts and so nobody's going to really be swimming that much anymore so it's really slowing down and i hate that and uh and by the time you get to a lake, someone else, like you saw in my video, was already there. And so that's just the way it is sometimes. It's slowing down, but I can't complain. Uh, I've got, uh, oh, I don't know how many rings I got so far. I've got a lot of rings already. But anyway, I've got it all laid out. Let me spin you around. Let me show you what I got. All right, well, here's all the trash. All the aluminum stuff, some glasses, all the iron stuff. Here's all the aluminum caps we have bottle caps we have uh, bobby pins batteries all the vape pins that are out there some big fishing weights uh, trot line hooks we got beaver tails and we got pull tabs square tabs and check this out got a new set of shoes i'll come back to those in just a second and tell you all about them but here is my treasures i got some toys this time around a ball a frisbee some goggles I got three sets of glasses. These two sets are still good. And uh, here's all my coins. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six dollars and fifty cents in quarters, five, ten, fifteen dimes, and we got nine nickels. Let's see what we got in pennies. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty-two pennies. So lots of change, not as much as normal, but it's been a kind of a dry week this week. Uh, there's my one earring. <laughs> oh, just a preacher digger fan just went by and said he loves preacher digger. All right, uh, this is a first for me in the water. I've never found a harmonica. I find lots of harmonicas out in old plantation homes and in old ghost towns and stuff like that. But this is made in Germany. It's a Honer Pro Harp. And that black is coming off and uh, it still works, believe it or not. I don't know what it's doing in the lake, but hey, that's a nice find. Uh, found a 925 silver heart necklace. It's got little diamonds in it, but I don't think the diamonds are real. I've got a mary madonna and baby jesus and this is complete it's not broken at all uh mary is stain uh, is uh is silver but that around her is stainless and this is silver 925 so that's a nice ring i mean necklace here's my rings i've got a stainless steel ring i thought this was going to be white gold but it ended up just being a costume ring stainless steel I did get a titanium gold ring. Check that out. I've never dug a gold titanium ring. And then check this out. In the video, you saw it was all black. I cleaned all three of these up. Check that out. That is a 925. Very nice, big saddle ring. Western saddle ring is what that is. Man, that rang up as a 97 or something like that. I don't know. It was in the video. You saw it. But that is really nice. So, not as much as I normally find. But it's getting kind of few and far between right now. 
Well, I had a really good time out there this week. I went out Monday and went out today on Friday. I got a chance to go up and meet with uh, Spencer. Uh, Stinkin' Lincoln is his YouTube channel and his Instagram, Facebook. Y'all check him out. I'll put his link in the description. And uh, he invited me up. We went out and we found most of the stuff I found was at that one lake. And on the way home, I hit a lake and found that uh, bracelet and uh, found that ring. But uh, it was a good week, though. And um, But something else. I got a phone call this week, or actually an email this week, from this company right here. And it's called Seekway. Seekway. And I'm going to put the uh, address for this in the description uh, where you can click on it. So you can go straight to Amazon. And they asked me if uh, I wanted to partner with them and uh, come up with some water shoes. And I've been needing some new water shoes, uh, some like this. And I really, really like this shoe. It's got that toe grip to it like that. It's got a good thick sole on it where I can push down on my scoop. It's very lightweight. I like it because it drains out of the bottom. It just slips on. It keeps all the rocks and gravel out. It's just perfect for the beach. It's perfect for the lake. And if you guys are interested in getting some of these Preacher Digger Seekway shoes, we're going to give you a 20% discount. Go on there. Click on the link in the description. I'll put it right here on the uh, screen as well. But go on the description. Click on that link. It's going to take you directly to the Amazon store and just put in there in the discount code box. Just put in there Preacher 20. I'll put that in the, in the description as well. And get 20% off of these nice Seekway shoes. They have women's designs, men's designs. They got all different colors. They're very lightweight. They're very durable. And I really like that feel because I can really feel that scoop down there when I'm pushing on it. And I was able to walk across rocks and it didn't hurt my feet. The soles are thick enough to do that. And so y'all go get you a pair of these Seekways and uh, just put that Preacher uh, 20, Preacher 20 discount code in there and get you 20% off. And so uh, I like it when companies, I like products they send me and I really like them. So y'all check them out. Well, there's all the trash. And here's all the treasure. And like I always say, the greatest treasure isn't what you can find in a lake. The greatest treasure is what can be found up in heaven. Keep searching, keep looking up. Until we meet again, I just want to wish everybody happy hunting and God bless. Mm -hmm.